Glenn, what are we looking forward to tonight? Uh, well, we're uh, we're in a pretty good run of form right now. I think we're uh, nine in ten points. Hull have obviously uh, bounced back last weekend, so should be a good game. They look quite short benched, um, but that doesn't really mean a lot for them. They've still got the likes of Chamberlain, Bonner, guys that are dangerous. Interesting to see how Norris does, but I think we have to start fast here and get a couple of goals early. Couldn't agree more. So, and I am delighted to see that the powers that be, the Hull, have clearly been watching the broadcasts and the names on the backs of the jerseys are beautifully legible. McEwen with a cute little move there, looks for space and the puck is just behind Nathan Long. And Bonner finds it. Ma gets just enough to deflect it. Robson sits Norris down. A good old-fashioned Peterborough welcome for the new Canadian. And having said that, First blood goes to Phantoms and new boy, David Norris with the goal timed on eight minutes and 18 seconds. So you, Jordan will want that back as we see from the replay, surely? Uh, I don't know, he, make, he makes the first save good. He, he gets in the lane, makes a save, rebound pops out there. Look, I'm never gonna turn around and say that a goal he's gonna wanna uh, a goal back on part of the union. Passes back, Padlek fires again. Collects Hayward's ankle. But now Bugler cycles through. And goal, Phantoms! Let's take a look at the replay. Lovely, lovely finish there from the Phantoms. Just trying to pick out numbers. So, Padalek and captain James Ferrara does the captain's job, gets the teams back in. Lovely, beautifully taken goal there, you. Yeah, we had, we had a chance like three thirty seconds before that, where if we had to execute it quicker, we would have scored. That time, Paddy waits him out. Smith comes out probably too aggressively. So Pollard breaks his way through. McEwen picks up. Across the slot, nobody on the end of it. And now Pirates break. Hewitt, first time I think we've mentioned him. And Pirates are back ahead. Again, let's watch that on the replay. So Hewitt fires in. Rebound comes out. And it's buried back in. I think that was Phillips. Buglis looks up, finds Peter Stepanek with all the space in the world. To Robson. Back to Stepanek. Buglis is lurking deep on. And Martin Susters with a pass from Stepanek from behind the goal. And let's take a look at that on the replay. So Stepanek finds Susters, who one times it from a very, very acute angle. So it's 16 and a half minutes to go. Scores are tied again at two all. Billing does enough to get out to Ferrara. Norton, space and a goal! Padalek. And again from that acute angle. Ewan called it. So it's at 17.35. So if you look at the replay there, again, it's that acute angle. And as you said, Ewan, didn't close the post. No, uh, it's, uh, I think it's a weakness we've spotted there. And if we can exploit it as best we can. Weldon very lucky to not be offside and even luckier to not have a high stick score against him. Susses in acres of space. And again! 
tight angle. Stepanek extends Phantom's lead. After 21 minutes and 25 seconds, it is Phantoms 4, Pirates 2. You know what, on that goal, you've got to give Weldon a lot of credit there. He waits and waits and waits, waits for Smith to come out, commit himself, starts moving across, pass comes across, he's got an empty net. Really, really smart play by Weldon. Huge opportunity now for Phantoms to, to stretch the lead. And an absolute bullet of a shot from Padalek. Scored on 22-58. So you see on the replay there, plenty of space. Fires glove side high. But of course we've still got nearly two minutes of Haywood's penalty remaining. So Padlek now breaks down the wing, collects pull up, gives him a look that I wouldn't want to be on the end of. And tremendous triple save from Ma there from close range. Or to the side rather. And Norris is coming around, looks for the wraparound. And ghosting in from the back, I think was Fisher. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah. Can you think that could well have been just a wraparound from Norris? No, tapped home with the rebound. So, it is now Phantoms 5, Pirates 3. Just wait for official confirmation of the scorer. So Long comes to marshal the play from behind the net. Stepanek holding off Phillips. Is that going to be, and that's going to be a penalty shot. So the cries of Peter, Peter ring out across the, across the rink. And Stepanek is denied by a smart glove save from Smith. So Ewan, what's going through a goalie's mind when they're c coming up to face a penalty shot like that? Well, I'm just looking at the replay here. As he comes in, if you watch his hand position, he open, closes the blade over, turns his hand over. He reads his hands pretty well there. To be fair to Smith, he's made quite a few smart glove saves so far. And Norris picks it up. Dances his way around McEwen. Still going. And somehow, the puck stays out of Mars. Now, I think at one point that was sat on top of Mars leg pads. Smart work from the D, from the Phantom's defensive core there just to get sticks in the way, anything they could stop that puck going in. Comes round the boards, picked off nicely by uh, Robbie Ferrara there, but a tussle in the, in the net. Big Peter Fabus, and from tight angle, Pirates bring it to four. Let's take a look at the replay. Squeezes into that back corner, having a little bit of difficulty seeing who that was. So again, so again, it's Ma hasn't quite closed off that near post. It's tapping, indicating that Phillips is turned to the ice, and so he has, and the puck doesn't quite make the edge. Phillips collects Padlek. He seemed to get up. Norton is waiting on the blue line. Again, waiting for that trademark Thunderbolt. And Ferrara fires! Sat underneath Smith. Somehow the puck squirms clear. Okay, so Smith... Smith's Smith's been called to the bench. So it's five on five with no netty. 
waiting for the traditional shouts of shoot from the crowd. So Norris goes round Norton, fires across the paint, and that's all she wrote. Final score. Phantoms five, Hull Pirates four. Phantoms certainly made to work for that game and for large periods. Pirates look to be firmly in control. But, without wishing to resort to too many sporting cliches, it's what counts on the scoreboard rather than possession stats, which sees Phantoms take the 5-4 victory against our visitors from Humberside.